having somebody that's outside of um outside of the dental industry gives it's, it's another perspective so it's giving you the, the the chance at looking at something that you haven't been looking you know if you're in, in a dental practice and you're looking at this you know the workflows and you're stuck and you don't really know what to do and you ask somebody else that's been in and there's lots of people working in practices but not really advancing anything then it's always makes sense to look at experts um in other fields that are coming in um i've worked with quite a few different um business experts that aren't dentists and i haven't scaled my business by listening to dentists i've scaled our business from getting experts in because they're helping me learn uh, beyond what is typically um sort of shared uh, within the dental industry I mean, most of the knowledge that i've had was passed on by my dad who is an, you know, an orthodontist of 40 years and he's telling me stuff that what he what was bright for him in the 80s you know and it's still now and it's you know marketing changes all the time technology changes all the time and when i came in and i modernized our practice in 2012 I had no experience or knowledge of the dental industry other than when I was a kid sitting on my dad's dental chair thinking it was a toy, you know, and that's how I started. So I came in and I just completely, um, you know, took his business to another level. And a lot of it was on the job training, but a lot of it was also looking at experts and mentors that were outside of the dental practice. Um, so having somebody like you coming in, um, I mean, we obviously we clicked so so fast because you presented to me in the ideal patient journey what was inside my brain. So everything that I was trying to achieve, but I couldn't do it on my own because I don't have the the technology or the skill set. And you showed me the whole of the map, you know, mapping it out, what was inside my mind, laid out so beautifully and elegantly. Um, I couldn't have got that from talking to some like another practice manager or another dentist um, because you're an expert in your field and dentists and practice managers are experts in their field. Uh, so the, the biggest problem that we had was uh, we didn't have a treatment coordinator for one. So we were 95% um, NHS and 5% private in our patient split. So the majority of the staff they're all pretty much focused on NHS activity. So the, the whole thing about chasing up leads and following up with inquiries was really lost on a lot of people. So I was really trying to get nurses or reception to help me with, with growing within you know, trying to do it within their normal day to day job. And treatment coordinators are quite hard to actually get. You know, to actually you know, to find treatment coordinators that know what they're doing um they're typically found in private practice and um but in an nhs practice which was pretty much what we were um it's not really something that you recruit for you know, you're trying to and so a lot of the what the, the problem i had was that i was having to create systems myself but I only had limited knowledge of how to create an assist a system that works. So starting off with a spreadsheet, which then evolved into um, using a, um, a quite a well-known system, another product. Um, but even then, that was that had its limitations because it was only dealing with the lead capture stage. So it, once you've got the the patient in the in the chair and they start treatment, then that's as far as that that well-known system would take it. And, you know, that's only such a small part of the job. That's a small part of the patient journey, just that, you know, I want to be able to see the patient throughout the whole journey. You know, I want them to be able to come back to us. I want to be able to be, offer them um, additional uh, support and um, sales inquiries throughout their their patient visits. And in orthodontics, you know, some of our patients are in treatment like three years, three, four years. and we want to be able to capitalize on, on on that time being able to get referrals um and you know it's not like finishing a dental treatment and then you get them booked in every six months for follow-up visits once your teeth are straight and you've got your retainers on you might never see that patient again so it's so important to to maximize that time within the patient 
cycle and I just didn't have the right system um, and there is no dental off the shelf system that does this the, um, so the, so you have to look outside of dental well, I, I started to look outside of dental and that's when I came across uh, Infusion Soft now Keep and I heard of another dentist Opie that had implemented it in his practice and I thought well that makes sense you know he's a really well um, he's doing really well in, in his practice private specialist practice and I'm a, we've got a specialist practice so I thought I'll I'll, I'll I'll do that then and then as I discovered a little bit more and a bit more and I found out about you that you're you're actually you know implementing it is for dental um clinics as well as orthodontic clinics the community, orthodontics is so niche it's such a small part of dentistry that even when you have these um these programs that are dental focused orthodontics is really forgotten about it's such a small add-on and a lot of practice management software um automation software crm software that you'd actually already done it you'd actually already got the orthodontic patient journey so again it was like well i don't have to invent you know reinvent the wheel because lisa's already done it <laughs> so Love it that. Made sense. um so yeah and that just for me took gave me the opportunity to um yeah, we grew our NHS. So when I said it was a 95% NHS to uh, split, it's 5% private, by mm -hmm. implementing um, a paid ad strategy and then in, and having the ideal patient journey with the follow-up, um, because we were really lacking in that uh, staff support of being able to do the follow-up, you know, our business went to a 25% split uh, from private to NHS within a year. You know, so it's a huge you know a huge jump so what um, was your what was your nhs private split before and after again uh so it was about five percent uh, nhs so five percent private yeah. and that was really from non-qualifying nhs patients that were already in the building so there wasn't really much going on with um out you know bringing in new patients uh, but once the pandemic started and we adopted a paid we actually just adopted a paid ad strategy uh, just as the pa before the pandemic started. So we were a few months in and from um, doing a year on my own, you know, we did really well. We grew, we grew um, quite quickly just w without any, uh, without the, the ideal patient journey. But I wanted to grow, I wanted to be, do bigger. I wanted to get better and um i had to you know obviously i had the resources to be able to in, in invest and in getting it done properly so i didn't have to work so much you know with these systems um but what it gave me was having the reliability of a, 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 an automated system that did all the follow-up so even if the staff was you know didn't do their jobs the system is still working in the background it's still nurturing the the new leads it's still been you know, still helping the patients with dis deciding about whether they want to move to that next stage in the journey and you know wow well that was that was the difference between our company going you know, under to our company thriving in what could have been a real terrible state through the pandemic um so we'll just keep keep growing um so the the plans that i have for the future are to have a multi-site uh, practice um, and also to re uh, increase our uh, range of services so looking at um, facial aesthetics is quite was probably the, the next thing on our on our list of uh, services to bring in and that fits in well again with the ideal patient journey if we want if we wanted to put that in it's just a very similar workflow um, in the, with the system um, and also improving the communication between ourselves and our referring dental partners. So the dentists that actually refer our NHS patients, majority of them really um, want to improve on those relationships. And when you have the NHS patients in the system and you get not you can notify the dentists along the journey of what is actually happening with the patients. Has the patient turned up? Did they have the brace? Have they had the braces on? You know, is the um anything that you know, we can do which is be automated that 
acknowledges what, what's happening with the patient is that community you know, improves the communication, improves the relationship between the referrers and ourselves, and also uh, builds our brand and awareness if they wanted to uh, refer privately um, as well. So again, more plans for scaling. Yes, yeah, so that's also um, it increased the, the speed in which we actually get um, um, sort of buy-in from the patient. So having a sort of a low, um, low enough barrier to, to secure the deposits to get to the um, in-clinic in appointment with the with Dr. Wood for the appointment. And by having that as an automated process with a payment link, um, it speeds up the process of the patient sort of buying into that next step of the journey that they want, confirms, gets the appointment booked quicker so the back and forth of um, you know, in chasing inquiries, um, that's obviously reduced. But, but another thing with this, this system, it creates a daily task list for uh, the team. So it really is all done for you. So when the, the TCO logs onto the system, they literally get a task list uh, told of what, what to do, the next thing to do on the list, right? Bring this person, this person's come in, this is now the clin check uh, stage, so you need to get the clin check signed. You need to be able to do this and click a button. You know, the task goes away, comes back when it's meant to because it's all set up and pre-programmed. It's either in a day's time, a week's time. Just takes the stress off the, uh, the TCO. Um, we Obviously, I can see everything that's been going on. I can see all of the interactions between the patients and TCO because I get to see all the email deliverability every time an email is opened by a prospect, I can see, you know, are they actually engaging with the, the emails? Are they engaging with the TCO? And um, so we can refine the journey whenever we need to. So we have, including myself, I mean, I'm a uh, managing director, I'm not a TCO. So I have lots of other duties. And then if somebody's off sick, um, I can easily pick it up, just go into the, the list, see what the task is, if it's a uh, a phone call or to to get a payment i can i can do that it's it's spells it out for me but we've had other team members that um it reduces the training time as well so you don't have to teach somebody everything about how to use a new system because it's the the, the system is built to make it easy so that you're literally just seeing what the task is clicking a button to get rid of the task once it's done you're not having to you know, reproduce any workflows or um, you know, manually download data uh, to be able to create reports on the conversions. Yeah, I'm a happy, happy chap. Happy uh, chap, uh, indeed. Because there's so much more. There's so many things in the system. You know, we're very lucky that we we've, we've taken out the whole of the the package, uh, which has got all the bells and whistles. So everything that I can have, we do have, and um, we've just got a stress free practice at the minute. Well, I talk about this quite often with Dr. Woods, that we're just sort of stunned that um, the, 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 the drop, that there hasn't been a drop in the, the inquiries that we get. It's, it's, it's still there. They, they're still, like today, we've had, I think, six uh, inquiries that have come through. So six new inquiries that have come through, majority of Invisalign, uh, some for fixed appliances. And just think, how are they not getting put off by the news? Like, there's so much doom and gloom being pushed out with uh, the, you know, the, the, how bad the country is doing. So either they don't watch the news or they just don't care that, that they have a problem that needs solving and that's that they want to have feel really good, have a beautiful smile, and we, you know, we help them.